Well, what kind of orchids do I grow? Palinopsis. It's literally a palinopsis. But where are the cattleyas? It's literally a phalaenopsis. Trolled by the help. This is actually a Vanda, yes. Look at those roots though, dude. Thick. They are. Vanda. Sana's Vanda. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really exciting haul for you. Not a whore and not a hole, but a haul. <coughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm not allowed to do my intros as usual because I have a horrible person watching over me. Hi Daphne. She actually drove me not only insane, but also <laughs> to Curlin Orchideen today, which is a nursery close by to where we live. And it's, it was a really special day for them because they brought in Equagenera. They're a really big nursery overseas and they brought in some orchids, hoyas and aeroids and other plants to show and sell them to us peasant people in Germany, which like who wouldn't love that? So we went there, we basically arrived an hour before they closed. So all the cool stuff was already gone, <laughs> right? So <laughs> all the good things were already picked up. But we're still able to get in some orchid goodness and we were able to really see their super impressive uh, greenhouses. They don't just have orchids there, they also have other tropical plants and it's like a kind of a rainforest greenhouse, which I personally really enjoyed. But my personal highlight were their two humongous Cattleya Maxima specimen that were in full bloom, Gorgina. Like, amazing unfortunately i couldn't really smell them we had to wear a mask there because you know you know so we couldn't really experience the scent that well but the show was amazing they also had a huge cattleya triony there which i'm super excited i might just at some point line up there look at the cattleya triony and be like that's mine now of course you know if you go there you can't really leave without picking up a few things here and there and yeah, I think I'm just gonna start with the plants Daphne picked up. Vanda. Exactly, you got a Vanda. Let's just start with the Vandita, which is Spanish and means little Vanda. What a hideous monster is this. Could never be me, like, ugh. Basically, Vandas, when they bloom, like especially these boring ass complex hybrids, they look like Phalaenopsis. So they're like, if you think you're really cool, you have a Vanda like this, but it's actually just a Phalaenopsis. Vanda. <laughs> so, yeah, whatever. So this is Vanda Gyrac Beauty, which is French and means generic cross. No. I really like the root system on this one. While I guess a few of the roots are drying out slowly, I think this has a lot of life in it. According to the nursery, this is like one year away from flowering size. I wouldn't know. Leave a comment down below telling us how long it's going to take for this one to flower. 20 years probably, right? And yeah, I mean, this plant looks really healthy, really hydrated, plump and so on. I just hope Daphne can take care of her. Vanda. Daphne really wanted to get a Miltoniopsis. Unfortunately, they didn't have any Miltoniopsis anymore. From the bottom of my mother fucking and my father fucking hard. This must be super fucking hard for you, I can't even imagine. The next best thing was this, which is a Nelly Isla. It's, I guess, an Oncidopsis or Burgera or Cambria or whatever you call it. And Daphne fell in love with this plant right away. Instant love. I think, like, these are very common plants. I think you see them around a lot, but I think they are really good if you 
kind of want to move away from polynopsis and you want to have some orchid in your collection that may be a little less generic i think these oncidium intergenerics are really good this is like oncidopsis right so it's a cross between an oncidium and a miltoniopsis so i think it already has some of the properties that a miltoniopsis have but it might be a little more approachable to beginner growers Ah, the shade of this is just amazing. Mm -hmm. So um, we picked out this plant because it has a new growth coming here. It seems really well hydrated and the flower spikes are still opening up. So this will stay in bloom for quite some time. I'm really happy with the coloration on the flowers. Even from the back, they look really nice. You can see it's like this dark intense red but then it almost fades into pink it has the slight orange hint and yellow so this is a very beautiful flower and i remember so when i was like a teenager i used to grow some of these as well and i remember them having like a peppery fragrance so let's see if this one develops a nice scent as well so the next plants that we got are divisions of humongous plants they have there so they have pots basically literally this size and like tens of them of Miltonia regnellii and this is an oncidium type of course and it's a species which we were both really fascinated by because the fragrance of the flowers really reminded us of a really warm and cozy vanilla so this was really soothing. So when we entered the greenhouse right away, we were like, what is this fragrance? This is amazing. And we could, unlike for the Maxima, we could really smell the fragrance through the mask. So this is really promising. And these are just two really nice cuttings. Like you can see these roots might be a little dry, but I'm sure with the new growth coming, there will be no issue in establishing these. So let's hope they will start blooming very soon and give us this warm and fuzzy feeling at home. What? These could bloom next year, I think. Because, right, it just has to grow roots again. And, right, like, it would grow in this direction, new growth, and it should produce a bloom very soon. Like, I'm very positive about this. And these were really inexpensive, it's like five euros for these cuttings here. They also had some divisions that were still in bloom. We didn't go for those just because it's a little stressful for the plants. So yeah, we just went, you know, safer. And then, so yeah, one for Daphne, one for me. That, that is so dirty. Last but not least. This is a plant that I got. This is a Lelia anceps, which I'm really falling in love with. I already have two that I got from Afri Orchids and they have an amazing range of these plants. But Curlin Orchidin also has quite a few and some of them are really like specimen fat plants, roots everywhere, growing like a monster. Behemoth Orchids. Those were unfortunately not for sale, but also I think I wouldn't have been able to afford them. So mm, no worries. But then this one is Lelia Anceps Ruli, and as you can see, it's in spikes. So this is super exciting. It's cheating a little bit, right? I'm like, oh my god, it's bloom. Like, yeah, but I didn't really get it to bloom. But anyways, these roots are a little unruly. Um, I think I'm going to pot this up. You can see they're also coming out of the bottom of the pot. And I'm considering to just have them kind of get into the substrate after I repotted this plant. I'm super excited. Leia Anceps is definitely up there on my list of favorite plants. Granted, I've never seen one in bloom in person, but just like the leaves, the pseudo bulbs, and just the flower shape is really appealing to me. With all of that said, thanks a lot for watching. Thanks a lot for leaving a comment. Let us know what you think about these plants. Would you have gotten these? And until next time, see you later. Bye. These bloopers are going to be insane.
leave a comment if you think it's weird that he drinks from the spout. Oh, that's what it's there for. No, like, very clearly. Porn. Yeah, but you pour it into your mouth, and then you swallow. Yeah, but if you're used to drinking from a normal cup, you can drink from the side as well. Well, it's not a cup, though, right? It's a beaker. Ever heard of it? Right. It's a oregano. Ore I would have loved to have her join on this side of the cam phone. It's still a phone. But I think she's more comfortable with being this executive producer. So she just sits there, micromanages everything I say, think and do, tells me how shit it is, and then we move on. That's amazing, right? Mm -hmm. I'm so grateful. Anyway, so, um, these plans are not all for me. But Amanda! <laughs> sehr, sehr gut! <laughs> but some of them are actually also for Daphne. <laughs> I'm a sweaty mess. <laughs> You're horrible! I would just edit it together later. Because of the Panini Press. PNP. Oh my god. Yeah. What, what am I supposed to say now? <laughs> so, um. I don't know, was it a planned exhibition or a show? I think so. Because they went all the time for show. True. True. That Maxima. Gorgina. Oh! It's called B-roll. Yeah. They have fish there and my... True, true, true. They also have frogs. Thank you a lot, Peanut Gallery. <laughs> and have like some <laughs> like could yeah. never could never be me is this even in frame like yeah. <clears throat> anyways okay then we have two divisions vanda. no it's not a vanda 